ALCS Game 4 as our hometown Houston Astros take on the visiting Seattle Mariners as the Astros currently have a 2-1 lead in the series. The Astros won Game 1-2 and two by a score of 3-2 and, and then lost Game 3 here at Minute Maid 4-3. Getting the starts for their team will be Julio Tejeron for the Astros and Taiwan Walker for the Mariners. In the top of the second with one out, the Mariners had a runner on first with the ex-Astro Jason Castro at the plate as he ripped into the gap, but Ortega was able to use his closing speed as he got to it before Castro could get a double, but they had runners on first and third to bring up the bat of Logan Morrison as he ripped it up the middle, and that was able to score one as the Mariners got on the board first. Then in the bottom half of the inning, the DH Chris Carter was able to use his bat to ricochet one off the wall, and he used his speed to hustle into second... not so much. Then in the top of the fifth, Julio Tehran got himself in a bit of a jam as he walked batters Logan Morrison and then Rookie of the Year Julio Morbon on back-to-back -back at bats. Next batter up was the center fielder, usually known for his defense, but in this case, he came around with his bat, ripped it up the middle, and there was going to be a play at the plate with Rafael Ortega's throw, but Logan Morrison was just too fast as he came around to score to give the Mariners a 2-0 lead, and then Willie Bloomquist came up as he grounded into a double play as Tehran was able to work his way out, only allowing one extra run. And then in the bottom of the fifth, George Springer came to the plate as he launched this one in the right field, and that's what I call a Springer Dinger, as that tied up the ball game for the Astros. But the Mariners would strike back in the top of the seventh with Alex Wood in the mound as Logan Morrison projected this one into the left field seats for a two-run shot, and that blew the game wide open with a 4-2 lead. But the Mariners weren't done as in the top of the ninth with Alex Wood still on the mound. I guess they like to hit in the left field seats off Wood because Wilson Bedemy projected one into those left field seats solo shot, giving them a 5-2 lead. Then in the bottom of the ninth, Carson Smith came in for the Mariners to shut the door, and despite a long fly ball from Mike Zanino, Denard Spann was able to get back to the hill and put it away for the final out of the ball game, and that was how the cookie crumbled in this one. The Mariners took game four by a score of five to two, and they even up the series at two games apiece. And that'll wrap things up here in the studio. Don't forget to tune in next time here on Houston Astros Network as we will be covering Game 5, the rubber match, here at Minute Maid Park.